Hello everyone, I'm X13, and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to build the Mercedes Sprinter at 1.5 to 1 scale. As a small bonus to the main tutorial, I will also be showing you how to put it in a European ambulance livery. This does say some changing of the base vehicle, but I'll talk more about that later. As mentioned beforehand, this build is in 1.5 to 1 scale, meaning 1 meter in real life equals exactly 1.5 blocks in Minecraft. This is a great scale because it allows us to put in a little bit more detail while still feeling human sized by standing next to it. Because this is in 1.5 to 1, it'll fit in perfectly into any 1.5 to 1 scale scene. As for dimensions, this vehicle is 12 blocks long, including buttons and trap doors on the front and back blocks, 5 blocks wide, including skulls and buttons on the side, and 5 blocks tall, including some carpets and trap doors on the top. It should be noted that the ambulance variant of this van is only 11 blocks long, so if you plan to build that variant, you can kind of delete a block off of the allotted space that you give it. However, I would highly recommend building the base variant and then transferring it into the ambulance variant at the end rather than trying to make the ambulance variant at the beginning and just putting the livery on it at the end. With that being said, let's get building. Alright, so to start this build, first I'm going to come down to where you want the front bumper to be and place three nether brick top slabs in a row. This is a great time to mention that this build does indeed make use of the Arrow Team version 2.0 texture pack in which uh, nether brick slabs are a black hole texture. Uh, if you don't have this, I would suggest using a blackstone, but I highly recommend you to get the texture pack. Uh, if you can get it, uh, it is Java only. You can get it at the website aeroteam.org slash resource pack uh, and I think there's also a link to it in our discord server which the link sh for that should be in the description. Anyways moving on uh, yeah so three nether brick top slabs in a row. Uh, if you have the opportunity to do world edit get out a stick now and we're going to be using the replace tool so you can use do slash repl0 this is block replacer tool bound to stick. Put a temporary block out here, and what you're going to do is place actually place two of them because we're going to get an acacia sign and an acacia button. In the arrow team texture pack, the acacia button is black and the acacia sign is black. In defaults, you probably want to use the dark oak sign because I don't think there's like a black sign other than dark oak. And a if you want the colors to match, a dark oak button um, or blackstone if you don't really care. Anyway, uh, left click on the sign, place temporary block on all three of these actually, and for the middle one we're going to place the sign, that's for the license plate, on either side buttons, I think just for some headlight detailing or something like that, I'm not too familiar with this truck, uh, I was not the one that originally built it, this is a build by Aurelis, who is a uh, great building member. Okay, so next up we're going to put a dark oak fence gate, which is close that we have to black uh, in the middle. This is going to be perpendicular to the build, so not uh, facing this way, but uh, like this. And that's going to be the axle in between the two wheels, which are going to be end stone stairs, upside down end stone stairs facing inwards. Uh, the end stone stair is, as you can see, a custom texture, which is uh, like a black brick texture. It's pretty cool. Um, and if you don't have this, you probably just use one of the black stones. The reason that we're using a stair instead of a full block is because uh, when you view the truck, it's uh, or van, I suppose this would be, it looks slightly thinner, uh, which is great because wheels in real life are not uh, 0.75 meters thick, and in this case, they'd be about 0.32 meters thick, I think, um, in 1 by 5 to 1 scale. So, uh, coming back off of this, we are going to have a large 3x3 row of purple top slabs. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, sorry, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be a 5x3 of purple top slabs. Let me just fill that in, just like so. Coming back, we have a another kind of wheel set, so the dark oak fence gate in the middle and the two endstone stairs at either side. Uh, and I forgot to do this on the upper actually. Place stone buttons on all these wheels because that is what you do 
for the wheels. Just like so. Uh, and then coming back from this, we've got three purple top slabs. And coming back from this, three uh, nether brick top slabs for the rear bumper. Then we're going to get our oak buttons and our spruce buttons. Spruce buttons in the pack are red. Uh, you'll probably just use acacia in um, default. And for temporary blocks, we're going to be placing one, two on the corners. So this. So off either off each corner side that is uh, that can be seen, place one temporary block. And we're just going to place another temporary block. Place a spruce button facing backwards, and then oak buttons on either side, like so. Put this spruce button. Select it and paste it over the back ones. This is for the back lights. And then left facing uh, oak button on the left side and right facing button on the right side. And those are just like amber uh, safety lights, I believe. Uh, and then we can also, you can see there's um, more of those on the side of it. So uh, temporary button, not button, temporary block right in front of this back wheel. And then coming from the front wheel, one back from that, we've got that. And same on either side. Do a temporary block with oak buttons on either side. Same as before, left click, and right click over. Left click and right click over. Just like that. And that is it for letter one. Alright, so for letter two, we are first going to come down to this rear, or sorry, front wheel axle, and place a gray glazed terracotta on top of it. The R team pack, this is a black kind of vent texture, um, and just know you should be placing it with the horizontal uh, vent, not the vertical one. Uh, but yeah, that'll be facing forward. Uh, if you are not in the pack, I'm really not sure what you would put in here. Um, you're probably gonna have to figure that out. I, this is a pretty complicated texture and I'm not really sure. But anyways, coming off of this block forward, we're gonna place one purple top slab, which is white wool, as I think I mentioned before. If I didn't, sorry, but uh, yeah, white wool slab, um, and if you're not in the pack, you can be using uh, quartz for that one. You're next going to be putting uh, cornered polished diorite stairs like this. Um, and obviously there's no stairs like here and here, so there's not really any way to do this without world edit. Uh, if you don't have world edit, you can probably just place them like this. It won't look uh, too bad, you'd just be missing out uh, this kind of quarter block there. Uh, but yeah, so those could be our temporary blocks. And then we're going to do this here, and just like that. So you grab this, and grab that. Just like before with the buttons and sides and everything. Uh, hopefully you still have your place tool, if not, slash REPL0. Okay, and that's going to do it uh, for that. Just one more world edit thing. If you come up to this purple slab, place temporary block, uh, oops, white wool, or any temporary block, um, stone button on its face, left click, right click, uh, I believe that's a little uh, Mercedes logo on the front. Alright, moving back from that, we've got two purple to go, and well, that did update that one, so we can just uh, we do this real quick. So like that. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, two purple top slabs just coming off this uh, black uh, vent block, I'm gonna call it, I guess. And then we're gonna have something a little bit interesting. So we are going to have. A, looks like I don't have it in my inventory. A stripped oak log, and that's gonna have that's gonna allow us to do this kind of black line without us actually cutting into it. Um, a lot of vanilla builders will use a pretty cool technique where they put if they want a half slab thick line, they do it like this. Um, so it's kind of hard to see, but so they do that, and then they can have just a full block here. The problem with that is that it kind of cuts into it, um, and while it does look 
OK. In the texture pack, we actually have a half black and half white block. And that's what we're going to be using for this road here. So yeah, so we come up here. And in this just little five block long area, we'll put, make sure you're using the upside down block face. Uh, you might have to click around a little bit. The default is just the up. There's also the down, and then there's also a sideways one. So make sure you've got the upside down one so that the black wool is in the middle of this slab and the top area here. So one, two, three, four, five. Do that on your side. One, two, three, four, five. And then I believe you've got wool out. One, two, three, four, in here. And then, yeah, we can just uh, actually go to the end with uh, this. Sorry about that. Um, and then, oh, actually, sorry. Right above this, we're going to have a nether bricks, uh, well, a black wool, um, and then your rubber slab top, same as up front there, and then okay, we'll just put that away, the stripped out block there. So it gives us a little bit of area for the wheel well um, by having this here. Alright, and then just bring that back one more. Now this is going to be pretty hard to do without the texture pack. As you can see, we've got red uh, trap doors on the back here, and I'm not exactly sure Maybe use the crimson trapdoor, or maybe a um, acacia one. Although those both have like little holes in them, so not really sure. You maybe just use an oak, or maybe just leave this detail out. Um, but we are actually going to be using in the pack. We got rails, and those have been textured as trapdoors. I believe this is the activator rail. I don't know about that. Okay, I'm right. So yes, so there is. A down one, and depending on the orientation of the rail, you can see they go up or down. Uh, there's also sideways ones by placing them oops, inside of a block like that. So you can just click over, temporary blocks, right click, and there we go. And I forgot the video. Use a little bit of a lighting error there. Um, button in the middle. I believe that's just a little logo of some sort. Uh, and that will do it for layer 2. Alright, so starting with layer 3, we are now going to come up to the front uh, purple slab here and come up and just place one white carpet. Uh, we do a little bit of world editing here with these two acacia buttons, which are, as I think I mentioned before, black in the back. Um, two temporary blocks side and just paste this over. Uh, again, small detail, doesn't need to be there, but you know, uh, if it can be there, uh, you can do it. Alright, so starting on the main windows now, above this uh, glazed uh, terracotta, I believe, uh, a endstone brick full block, which custom texture, you just use blackstone if you're uh, default. And then a stair off to either side, which gives it a nice bit of curving. Um, if you are on the server or have the head database plugin, I believe it is called, you can get a black wool head by just doing slash HDB search, and it probably will come up if I do black. Of course, it always comes up with these things first. Um, let's see. Let's actually try slash HTTP search uh, wool. There you go. Black wool. Uh, right there. The first one that comes up. If you just look up wool, I'll give you all the colors. Uh, so it's nice. If you are not in the server, you can just use a wither skeleton skull. Um, probably just fits any ones. But we're actually not going to uh, put this like this on the vehicle. We're going to put a temporary block right here. Place it on top, like this, so which gives it a little bit more space uh, for the car. And just like this. There we go. Now, we can place 
one block of white wool in here, and two upside down and stone brick stairs. You can see there's a little bit of hole in there where you can see the white wool, and that just gives the back of the windows a little bit more shaping. Coming back again, we've got purple stairs, regular ones facing backwards, and I'm going to do the inside white wool area. So I'm just going to go start to end with white walls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven blocks of white wool. Uh, from here, this one would be eight, I believe. Let's check. Yeah, so eight in all. Okay. Grabbing your birch trapdoors and jungle trapdoors, just your iron trapdoors if you're a vanilla. Go two birch trapdoors, two jungle trapdoors, and then two birch trapdoors. Birch in the pack is a white wool, and jungle in the pack is a smooth stone. Uh, you should probably just use iron for all of these. I don't, I mean, you could use birch for these two, or these four, and then iron for these, or vice versa. I don't really know. Um, you can kind of forge your own path on that one. Uh, and then we can just do that on the same side. So two, two, two. Just like that. And then we are going to put two birch trapdoors in the back here. And that will allow us to uh, kind of close off this window section. And for one last detail, we'll grab our stone buttons. And just place one right in the middle there. And that'll do it for run three. Not round three, number three. There's one more detail that I missed in round two, I just remembered. That is that on these first two blocks, there should be acacia buttons. Other than that, you're all good. Alright, so for layer four now, this is going to be the final layer. I'm kind of going to collapse layer four and five into one because this is just trapdoors and uh, carpets. So we'll do layer four first. We're first going to come up to this white wool block and place an upside down uh, stripped, what is it, oak log. Um, if you're in vanilla, that's going to be pretty hard to replicate um, because do and stone brick slabs on either side, and that's kind of, you know, you can get this uh, 1.5 block tall windshield without, with still having this uh, slab be here. Not exactly sure how you would replicate that, maybe by doing this, although you would have to change this block and this block to black, which would get rid of the purpose of this stair here. You could also maybe just do this, uh, which will use kind of an indent, or maybe just that, I don't know. I think probably this is your best option, um, but it's going to be kind of weird without having the pack. Uh, but yeah, if you got the pack, you can just do that. And there's going to be an acacia button on its face, just like that. Alright, coming back from that, we are going to finish off this, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, Six, seven, four blocks, and then on top of these proper stairs, proper upside down stairs facing backwards, so it's a nice round shape. And then we are going to do one, two, three, four, five proper slabs. One, two, three, four, five. Just like so. I'm going to do proper upside down stairs facing forwards this time, the back to kind of cap that off. Then there's going to be a interesting detail. I'm going to use a, I actually don't have a barrier, but I can just use slash I uh, barrier. And did that not work? It did. Okay, I'm just going to give you the message for some reason. There's a barrier right here. And then I can place a lever. And you're going to flick that in towards the center. Just like that. You can keep that there. Alright, now we have to get our rails again. I can just pick block them. And... Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do... Let's see. This will work. There we go. Okay. Because when the rail is powered, this is an activated rail. So we've got multiple block states. So when it's unpowered, it's a rail, but when it's powered, it's actually a stone brick texture. Because this lever is here, it was powering it. So I just do a slash slash move command um, from here where it wouldn't power it, um, and that seemed to work.
Um, of course, I'm going to give it a block update by placing these trapdoors here, but let me just do that again real quick. Um, if you are not in uh, back, you could just use a red carpet probably, um, or maybe like a brick slab, although that would be pretty dull, so you should probably use a red carpet. Um, but yeah, and that also will trigger this. Um, if you don't have world edit and you can't move it, I'm not exactly sure, but you can probably just use a red carpet here if you, if you do have the packs that it doesn't uh, make the stone brick, because that would be kind of weird, because it is supposed to be a red light, not a stone brick light. Okay, anyway, grab your white carpets and your birch trapdoors, which, as I mentioned before, are a white wool texture. Um, if you don't have them, just use iron jumpers. Uh, this kind of triangle here, you can place white wool uh, carpets, and then one in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, back, other side, and then just fill in that middle. And oh, that actually doesn't block up to that. Great. Uh, and if I just do one final check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think we're good. So that is going to be the end of the base tutorial. Um, if this is all that you wanted, uh, congratulations, you're done. Um, however, if you want to build the ambulance variant, which is that, uh, stick around because that is what we're going to be doing next. Okay, so what I'm first going to be doing is just making a couple base changes. Um, and these are going to be the ones that don't really affect the colors much, but are kind of just on that main vehicle. So first thing we're going to do is come up here and delete the sign and the slab. Grab our dark oak fence gates. I'm going to leave this bottom one opened and this top one closed. Just like that. And that's kind of a little, I'm not exactly sure what you call it, like a buffer um, on the front. Uh, you can see that over there. Alright, we're also going to make these uh, black buttons white. Uh, so we have our buttons, temporary block, and then same as before, so just grab all these over. Uh, if you don't have a little bit of small detail, don't need to worry about that. Uh, and now we're going to do kind of the biggest change. So we're going to be taking out this back section, this layer right here, and moving this layer in one. So we can just delete this real quick. Okay, it's not that uh, huge, so it shouldn't be a problem. If you have rolled it, um, like I do, I'm just gonna do slash one, uh, and then I can just do some slash two to do position two, and just do slash slash move. So we're only gonna be moving at one block, so I don't need to specify how many, and I'm already in the I'm facing the direction that I want it to move, so I don't need to specify which direction. So so enter on that, and I'm just going to run a quick clean light command so that that doesn't happen. Uh, and there you go. Uh, if you don't have rolled at it, um, you can just go back in the tutorial and redo that, or just uh, redo it by hand if you need to. Uh, it's a pretty small detail, so... Or, not a detail, but it's a pretty small change, so it shouldn't uh, take you too long. But once you're done with that, uh, come back here, and uh, we can continue on. Alright, so to continue with the changes made to the ambulance variant, we are first going to come down to the front here and change these stairs out for Prismarine. Uh, I'll put this away a little bit actually. And if you again can't do this world edit, um, just do the straight stairs and you should be fine. Now we're going to take a prismarine top slab, which I forgot to mention for the stairs as well, is yellow in the texture pack. Um, you can just use probably sandstone in creative. Or, sorry, not creative. Uh, not creative. Vanilla. Alright. Uh, next up here, we are going to be uh, exchanging. So yeah, so I'm going to exchange this, there we go, exchange this top slab for a prismarine one, and then we're going to do an alternating, like a, because it's a checkering, like a checkered pattern on the real thing, 
Uh, and the way that we're doing that is with upside down, so we can keep this black line and then just have it alternate above it. Uh, as I mentioned before, with the way that you can do this without having the pack would probably be by getting, actually, getting black wool, not white wool. Um, and then prismarine slabs and smooth stone slabs, and doing Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast. Um, on this bottom layer here, it goes yellow, green, 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 yellow. On this top, smooth stone, green, smooth stone, green, smooth stone, green, smooth stone, all the way back to this red trapdoor. Uh, and then obviously, as I went through before on the front, uh, that's all yellow. Alright, moving up to this area here. On the inside, we're going to make this whole end stone, because in the real thing, it is actually... Um, a window here. Uh, there's like a very tinted window. And all this becomes black, like that. Except for this block here, which is actually going to be a stripped oak. Actually, let me check something real quick. It's actually not a stripped oak as far. Oh, no, it is. Okay. I thought there was an end stone. Uh, half black block, but there's not. Alright, so yeah, so that's just a little bit of a sign in the window as far as I know. Um, continuing on, we're going to get our um, activator, a powered rail. And to exchange these trapdoors out, you're going to uh, have to use a rail again because there is not a trapdoor that is yellow. So, this is orange, uh, which means there's actually a powered one that is yellow. So, I'm just gonna exchange this over here. And this last one here is actually gonna be exchanged for a slab right there. Get the side ones and put that on the side, just like that. And then Stairs right here can become yellow, as well as these slabs up here. Pretty much this kind of whole area is just yellow, so you kind of don't need to direct you through everything perfectly. That's going to be hard to place. There we go. Uh, this is going to become, these three right here are going to become uh, jungle trapdoors or smooth stone. Uh, in vanilla, you could be using iron. And then we can delete all of these trapdoors here. Just like so. There's going to be some yellow carpet and a light gray carpet. So these first two here are going to be yellow. Light gray, two back from each, and then a row of three, oops, row of three yellow across either side. It's going to be two jungle trapdoors like off to either side and then we're actually going to exchange that uh, red trapdoor for a red carpet. I'm not exactly sure why but I think it's to make it slightly shorter than these instead of the same height which is why these are all not rails or trapdoors. Okay there's going to be a couple more details here and these three blocks in here, I'm just going to do a quick 
clean line commands that this gets cleaned. There we go. These three here are actually going to be... Let's see. Okay, continuing on. Sorry for that cut there. I just had to get uh, the half black, half yellow. Uh, and where's the upside down? These. On these, uh, there we go. On these terracotta, we've got four block states with just no sideways one. We want this. And this, just place three red blocks in here. Just like that. So the top is yellow, and this bottom is now black. Okay, on top, we are going to have an acacia button at the back, parallel, not uh, like that. Make sure it's parallel. Then a red stained glass pane right in front of it. It's a little mini light. And a daylight sensor. Uh, flip to the night position so the top is blue. I think that's just a little uh, dome thingy there. There's also a birch button uh, off the side here, so I'll just place a temporary block here. And then place that over. This area is getting a little bit messy. Uh, and there's a couple more things, I believe. Yes, on the back, there's a thing, a couple things we need to change. Grab this block again, and do that. By the way, if you are not in the pack, um, probably just keep these black. It's probably more important to have this entire window be black than have this, these two blocks be yellow. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is going to be a 1.5 by 1 window, uh, so yeah, make sure this is that half yellow block. Uh, and then, yeah, just keep, uh, oh, that's not a uh, full block. If you do, we've got the prismarine block not textured, so if you stack them, they don't work, so uh, yellow concrete is needed for full blocks. Uh, but yeah, we can just do this again on the other side here. I don't think there's any major differences. Cut. Nope, okay, I just checked, and it is all the same on the other side, so I'm just gonna get this uh, terracotta here. Actually, that is a different color. That is the green one. Uh, like that. There we go. And there's a yellow carpet on top of it, like so. Okay, and then if we go over here, cut it out, and I just did that again. And it looks like these have, for some reason, not uh, stayed fully edited. So I'm going to change that real quick. There we go. So as far as the tutorial is not as structured. Um, but it should be pretty easy to follow still. Because um, it's kind of just placing the blocks here. And we're kind of just doing this for the second time now because this is on the other side and it's the same on the other side. Okay, so again with this little guardrail, yellow, green, 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 yellow. And then I grab my uh, smooth stone, uh, half black, half uh, smooth stone block, and my green one. Just do three, or yeah, three green and four uh, smooth stone. I forgot this last one is not a. Okay, let me grab my rail, and go, and then along here, through carpets, so I'm going to do that. Like so, and like so. And we just got one last thing to do, which is, I'm just going to grab this full yellow concrete back, and just replace uh, that little inner block there with yellow because it's just part of this area. And I'm just going to do a final check for any details that I missed. But uh, I think I'm done. And uh, yeah, so if you 
had done the ambulance part of the trail, uh, you are now done. Alright, there's actually one final detail that I missed, and that is to make this uh, center slab here a prismarine slab, uh, and not a yellow slab. Uh, but other than that, I think we're done. Congratulations for completing this Aero Team tutorial. Thanks for choosing an Aero Team video. We hope you enjoyed building it, and we hope you'll build more. Feel free to use this Mercedes Sprinter on any public project, as long as you give the Aero Team credit. You are not permitted to use this without providing proper credit. If you did build this tutorial, let us know by tagging us on Twitter, at AeroTeamMC, or share it with us in the Minecraft channel in our Discord. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. We do all sorts of Minecraft tutorials and showcases, and you can be the first to see them when they come out. Again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm X13, and thanks for watching.